What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update for Thursday, October 17th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all things COVID and any of those other viruses that could be a health threat to you. Let's face it, COVID's not the only virus out there. There's a lot of viruses that can be a health threat to you. Just a second, we're going to talk about MPOX, which that continues to be a big deal, as is other viruses. And you need to be informed with what's going on with these viruses each and every day. That's what I do here. Today is going to be a 10 to 15 minute version of the virus update. So if you're new to my channel, give this a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course, leave your comments down below. Without wasting any time, let's get right into things. MPOX deaths now exceed 1,000 as cases spread to 18 countries in Africa. We're referring to Africa here and the number of deaths there. It's pretty, um, it's pretty impressive that they've had that many deaths. It, it's not a good thing and it continues to be a problem and they're now 50 new deaths in the last week and it's over 1,100 since the beginning of the year as data suggests by Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So that's not a good thing. It's something that we've been continuing to watch. Remember there is that new straight strain, Clade 1B, which is a problem and it continues to be a problem over in Africa. All right. In Ontario, hospitals can't handle projected 72% increase in chronic illness, study says. 3.1 million Ontarians will live with major illness by 2040, a study says. Uh, this is not good, and I can only assume one of those illnesses that many people will be dealing with is in relation to long COVID. Long COVID continues to be a big problem in Ontario and all around the world. Ontario is not the only place that this is going to be a problem. All around the world, illnesses, because someone had a case of COVID, will increase, and of course, other illnesses as well. I mean, the population in the world continues to increase. So as the world's population increases, the need for health care, the demand for health care, also increases as well. So this is something that's a problem. All right. Remember when you were a child, especially in the United States, maybe you lived in a northern state and it was wintertime and snow was expected? You look to see if you had a school closing. Nowadays, we look for school closing for just about any reason. And this is a health reason. If you live just north of Columbus, Ohio, Buckeye Valley schools closed Thursday after multiple bus drivers are out sick. And I do give credit to Jammer on Twitter who tweeted this out. That's where I uh, found this from. So yes, kids will be out of school today and you know the drill. They'll probably say, oh, all is fine and dandy tomorrow. Why? Are they fever free? What Are they testing for COVID? What is the illness? But multiple drivers are out sick. Hey, cold and flu season is starting to come into the mix. As we know, COVID, well, that can be all year round. All right, let's make our way over to the UK now. But before we get to the Thursday update from the UK on COVID, let's talk about the risk of bird flu. And they have raised that risk to medium. Yeah, bird flu has been becoming an increasing problem all around the world. And over in Britain, they are increasing the risk as well. And they are now saying that it is at medium. And they are also concerned about human transmission. Staying in the UK, I have to show you this week's COVID update there. It's not a good one. Weekly cases, 3,496. That is up by 529, or a 17.8% increase. That's uh, getting concerning. Deaths, 27 0.3% increase. It's up by 35. 163 this week. Healthcare. 2,622 patients admitted. That's up by 149. That's also up by 6%. So you can see it clear as day here on the charts. COVID in the UK is once again on the increase. The test positivity rate for influenza is now at 3%. 
Let's see here. Other viruses. Rhinovirus, 15.4% as of October 13th. And RSV is now at 1.9%. HMPV is at 1.6%. So we're starting to see some other positivity rates rise as well. And we can definitely see here the seasonal influenza. Yeah, it has started in the UK. Take a look at the positivity rate. It is trending upward now. And we can see the last year, their positivity rate got all the way above 15% going in from uh, January into February for flu. So we'll have to see how high it gets this year. It does appear to me, take a look at this real closely, October of this year, and then you see October of last year or November. It does look like to me, flu is getting going a little bit faster than it did last year in the UK. All right, taking a look now at what is going on with the pollen levels in the United States as I refresh this. And we see that the majority of the country, green, but 40% of the country is in low to medium status. And we do see some oranges still in Texas, some yellow showing up, but I'm really not terribly concerned right now, nor am I concerned about air qualities as much anymore. And let me refresh this. You'll see here, things have gotten a lot better, but at any given time, this could change because dry conditions continue for a large portion of the United States. And as you know, when things are dry, well, the wildfire risk does go up. So keep an eye on this. The worst area for air quality continues to be the West Coast at this time. Want to learn more about climate and weather? Two ways you can do that. Climate data report over on X. And for now, it's on X. We'll see here. A lot of people I'm hearing are starting to migrate away from X. We won't get into that. But uh, yes, and you can uh, check over there. I posted a new video today, and you can also see that over at Climate Data Report over on YouTube. I've just posted a video for today, and I talked about how drought conditions are getting worse for many areas in the United States. All right, taking a look at Philadelphia. EMS calls, 743 EMS incidents were reported on Wednesday, and taking a live look at the burbs, it is really busy right now in Montgomery County and Chester County, Pennsylvania. Right now, Montgomery County, 14 calls. I do see cardiac arrest in Upper Marion Township. I see respiratory emergency shows up not once, not twice, but three times. Cardiac emergency multiple times, diabetic emergency, and Chester County, not much better. Multiple sick person calls, a lot of calls for falls. I see heart problems, abdominal pain, emotional disorder. Busy period right now for EMS calls at 2.23 on a Thursday afternoon. Taking a look at what's going on for wastewater in Pennsylvania. That updated today. A couple of places in southeast Pennsylvania. A couple of sites did not report. Elsewhere is either no change or decreasing at this time. Nowhere in the state of Pennsylvania for COVID is increasing at this point in time. Taking a look at the viral activity level for COVID in Canada. That's moderate. Flu A is low. Flu B, not detected. RSV is low at this time. And taking a look at Walgreens, the positivity rate for the United States is at 17% at this time. All right, let's take a look at some of that uh, data now from CJS8372. And he did provide us with some numbers. Florida, 624 new cases and 17 new cases deaths. These are daily numbers. New York State yesterday reported 583 new cases, of which 441 from the most recent day for which figures are known. And then weekly reporting states. Arizona, 1,103 new cases and 10 new deaths. Colorado, 244 new positive tests, 16 new CDC reported deaths, and a test case positivity rate of 8.7%. 216 new cases reported in the state of Hawaii and four new deaths. Indiana, 1,036 new cases and 14 new deaths, all since the week of September 4th, or excuse me, September 8th through the 14th. We will have Ohio's dashboard in just a few moments. Maryland added 694 new cases and 21 new deaths. Michigan, 2,000. 361 new cases and 30 new deaths. Nevada added 385 new cases and 22 new deaths, possibly resulting from a minor data dump. New Mexico, 827 new cases and 15 new CDC reported deaths. The highest number of new CDC reported deaths 
for that state in about six or seven months. South Dakota, 293 new cases and one new death. Tennessee, 1,468 new cases and 12 new deaths. And Washington reported 23 new deaths. All right, going back to just a few more pieces of data now that we can look at. New Jersey today is reporting that they have 247 hospitalizations. This may not load on us. It's been freezing up. I have to do a complete reboot at some point later today of this computer. Uh, taking a look on a ventilator, 12 people are on a ventilator. In the ICU, 36. Discharges at this time, 36 as Taking a look at what's going on with New York State, and we see that New York State cases continue to fall greatly. It's Thursday where New York City is usually added in. Only 757 new cases were added. Taking a look at what's going on with New York State hospitalizations, 672 people hospitalized at this time and 67 in the ICU. Both are numbers that continue to drop. All right, it's Thursday, which meant we saw the UK, but we also get data from Ohio State. Wasn't certain if we were going to get this in today's video because I'm short on time, but here we are. Ohio State updated and... Kind of a not so good thing in Ohio. Your drop has uh, stalled for the time being. 2,874 new cases versus 2,921. Yeah, that's down, but not by much. And hospitalizations did drop at, or excuse me, hospitalizations did actually go up at this time. 133 last week. This week they added another 138. ICU admissions, three week trend. Yeah, it's back up again. 5 versus 4, and your deaths actually did go up at this time as well. 33 this week versus just 31 reported last week. So kind of a uh, reversal now starting in Ohio. We'll have to see if that becomes a multi-week thing or just a one-week hiccup. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Thursday edition of the virus update. Kind of a shorter update today. We didn't get to wastewater or anything and that's because today is my next Exolar injection. I have an appointment about an hour from now, so have to get off to that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And of course, leave your comments down below. As a result of me going out to get my next injection and working this evening, I may be slow to approve comments, but... Be sure your comment will eventually get approved, and who knows, I might even respond to as many as I possibly can. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe everyone, and have a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Thanks for watching.